Hey everybody, I know I've done told a bunch of you what boat we end up buying, but uh, today we're kind of just do a walk through. Me and Cody got out here today, put the rod stands on and the cutting board, uh, but we'll just kind of go over what we've did since we've had the boat and now we're ready to fish. All right, so there's the rod stands. We made them up last week. Daddy ordered some uh, monster rod holders and we got them put on today. And let me say, I ordered them on Sunday night, and they're not even open on Sunday night, and I had them here delivered at the house by Wednesday. So Steve and his guys over there do a great job getting the stuff out to you once you get it ordered. Yep. So, like I said, we made those just out of steel. Uh, it's a $19 set of rod holders there, minus the, or rod stands, minus the rod holders. So for a, for a real treat, cheap price, I think they look pretty decent. Uh, the multi bars we made for last which one of them they were both tore off the boat but one of them ended up landing on the back deck uh we took the one we still we had recovered and uh made it into our cutting board stand so i think that turned out well we've also added a garmin uh nine inch eco map uh uhd 93 sv so nine inch one of those uh, and there we added a three bank charger of course we added another or well we added another battery because it come with a 12 volt trailer motor and we upgraded to a, a 24 volt 80 pound thrust mincota tarova which is going to suit the style of fishing we do really well so all right so you got multiple uh positions for your pedestal seats it comes with three pedestal seats there's another position for one up there. It has the jump seats in it. We're gonna fish with them in here. These you, these can be taken out. Uh, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna like having the extra deck space back there personally, but we'll see how that how that goes. But uh, I doubt they ever see this position. But I think I like having the extra floor floor space. Of course, one on each side there. And if you have those up there's another place for a pedestal seat there and there so storage pretty much all over the boat uh got a rod locker here so for eight rods and that's where the batteries are storage you can fit eight foot rods i believe it said in here so well that's life jackets right now more storage over here This is the uh, Tracker, it's a 2021 model, um, Pro Guide V175 Combo. So the combo means that it comes with the jump seats and the uh, ski pylon. So it's another storage area. Screw the ski pylon in there if you wanna use it. So daddy tends to gripe about pleasure boaters, but I know my boys and my little sister have already said, well, they're ready to go skiing. So. The good thing is, the way we build these rod holders, when we're not fishing, yeah. we can I'm going skiing. undo them and take them down. Yep, easily removable. Take them out real easy. So, walk through windshield. Uh, really nice. The two little 10 minute trips we've had on the water, they block out a ton of air. air so, that's going to make the cut across the lake a lot more comfortable does have a stereo system in it that bluetooth to our phone if we want to do that yeah, so i think that's about it yeah uh live well is decent size i mean it's it's not a it's not a sea arc live well or anything like that but it is a decent size live well uh right there and it goes all the way all the way across and there's a little minnow bucket that slotted on the bottom so you can keep your minnows in there hidden alive. So that'll handle some pretty big fish. It'll handle, yeah, one good good sized fish, I think. And it's got another live whale uh, right up here. So and then there's storage there. I don't think we've got anything in that yet. That'll get filled up with tackle. Uh, foot pedal to the trolling motor that we'll never use. Cushion. Oh, and the combo also comes with the cushions here that if you want to have people ride in the front there. So, 
overall, I think Daddy's really excited about his purchase. Uh, I'm excited because it didn't cost me nothing, and I'm going to fish in it just as much as he is. So, hey, I can't lose there. But I think uh, I think this was a good choice. I think you picked a good boat. The price on these trackers is, is pretty competitive, uh, you know, and uh, it's got a lot of the features we were looking for, you know. Dream boat be like a, a Pro Cat 260 or something, big 26 foot, you know. But uh, at the price this is, you can't beat it. It's got a, a Mercury 115 on it, so four stroke. But I think I'm just rambling at this point. Pretty comfortable. All the seats swivel around to watch the rods out back. And that's it. Next video, hopefully, will be on the water. So we're going to go inside right now. Huge thanks to everybody who helped us out after the wreck. Sent us rods. Uncle Lou, J-Dog, Mark from Catfish and Crappie, Chad from uh, Fields to Water. We're going to go in here and get these rods, get these reels put on the rods and uh, get them all lined up. And might not get out today, but we will be out soon. All right. But it's ready to fish. Hey, as we always say, it's God, family, and the great outdoors. God bless each and every one.